Today I'm going to remove the Mini Cooper S badge from my trunk because I'm applying vinyl wrap and I don't want to deal with all of that there. So I watched a video on YouTube of a guy removing it and it seemed pretty straightforward. So the materials that you need are, let's start from the side, an extension, extension cable, a heat gun, goo gun, a rag, infrared thermometer, and floss. So the theory behind it is you're going to heat this up so the sticker adhesive behind it mounts. You're going to use the floss to remove it and whatever's left over, you're going to use the goo gun and wipe it down. I'll just start with the S. Now it's 140 degrees. and let it soak for a little bit. Now just wait for about 10-15 minutes and it's peeling off quite easily right now. For the most part, most of it's gone. Unless you look really closely, then you can see some of the residue. Since I'm putting a vinyl wrap over it, it's not that big of a deal, but if you want to do it right, you would probably use a lot more Goo Gone, and then you would keep scrubbing. Today I'm going to do a vinyl wrap, so I have to remove most of the trim from my car. This is a number five Allen key. I have to use a smaller Allen key so I can fit here. If you look over here, there's two orange clips that hold it in place, so I had to pry that off and see if there's more. Looks like that was the only clip holding it in place. And then this section right here kind of just hangs on to that. There's a clip on the top and there's a clip on the bottom, so what it seems like is that um, if you push down on this, this top clip to lower it, you can pull the top off and then you can slide it down to get it off the lower clip. Next we'll take this lens cover off. Looks like there's a few clips that we push in. That's off. This one's here. 
Make sure you don't stab yourself. Like I almost did. Same thing on this side. Next we'll take this bonnet scoop off. There's a screw in the middle to our Phillips head screw. Turn it counterclockwise. Make sure you don't drop this. I watched another video. I think there's seven clips holding it in place. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not really sure, but I'm just gonna pry this out. I already got the top ones loose. Gently pry it. Take a look back here. This one's already broken, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess there's six. And they lined up right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's where the screw was in the beginning. And I just realized that there was there was probably a rubber piece that went here for this screw to screw in. When I was taking this off, it seemed to have dropped inside the hood somewhere, so I need to look for it. There's a trim piece right here that seems to be held on by four screws. One, two, three, four. You can't see all of them, but I'm going to loosen them. I'm going to put these screws back in place so I don't lose them. To get these other tabs out, you push it's like a U-shaped clip, plastic tab that you push on one side, and then it slides right off. There's this clip right here that you would just push in on one side, and then it slides through. There's three more clips. There's one here, there's one more here, two, and three. So I'm just going to pop them out. Maybe you have a better view here, but these are the clips, or the tabs, that you just push in. And then they slide right out of these grooves. Down here, this grill, there's a few tabs. So what you would do is use a screwdriver, just push it down, and then push that inwards. So I got these out already. Kind of just make your way around looking for them. I took this fog light trim piece off just so it's easier, so it'd be easier to wrap this area. It was on here, and there's a few tabs one, two, three, four that I just used a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and propped down. There was also three more down here, and then two on the bottom, which correspond to these locations, and then there's one more right there. So in total, there's one, two, three, four. Five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I forgot about that one over here. So there's 11 that I had to push in, and then I pulled this out. And then with this, I kind of kind of just pushed it in, had to wiggle it around, and then pulled it in off of this side. And one thing you have to take note is the ambient temperature sensor. So with the ambient temperature sensor, you can just slide that off, and then you can just pry this off with the screwdriver, and then fix it later. Fix this clip later, with a needle nose plier. That's off. Today's pretty warm, so I'm not going to use a heat gun. I have a piece of floss. And I'm gonna take this badge out. On the tail lights, you can see a few tabs. Right here, right here, right here, here. There's two here, and maybe one or two down there. I found the best way is to use a screwdriver flathead screwdriver and just pry the trim so it comes off the tab. And if you want to be careful you could probably put a rag underneath too. Underneath the screwdriver. Sometimes they clip themselves back in. So once, that, once that's off, kind of push it to this side and it comes off of these tabs. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's two tabs over here. Again, this is a T20. So this slid right out, there's a clip right here, push that, this is off. This is a personal preference, but I like to put screws loosely back in to where they belong, just uh, so I don't lose them. This plug was a little weird. What I did was I used a flathead screwdriver. I just pushed that inside here and then lifted it, lifted it up a little and then pulled it out. And I was able to get this plug off. This rear trim is just like the front. 